Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing of a Technect Kraken game board, game board? <laughs> keyboard and mouse gaming set. I've also got a um, mouse mat as well. Uh, this was on Amazon for $17.99 um, and yeah, I've got it to replace my current keyboard which is just a very basic cheap uh, advent keyboard and mouse. Um, this is about, I think it was about five quid. <laughs> But it's very basic, it does the job, but I'm getting into PC gaming now, so I need to get a um, better um, keyboard. I know um, the best thing to do would be go for a mechanical one, but I've not got the budget to do that. So this is probably a, what you call a budget um, keyboard and mouse set. Um, this is literally how it came, uh, obviously an Amazon box, but then inside it is just like this. Um, all over it, it's got this certified frustration free packaging. Well, I don't know how frustrated you can get with the box, but still. Let's open it up. We'll do the mouse pad in a minute because it's not that exciting, is it? So, as you open it up, um, you can polystyrene each side of it to uh, keep it protected in transit. The mouse is over here, and that I think is the uh, the rest for the keyboard. Yeah, so we'll do the mouse first of all. So, that's in here, cable's tucked away underneath. So we'll use this uh, for a fan. So out the bag, this is the mouse. Uh, if I bring in my standard mouse so you can compare it, it's a little bit bigger, um, obviously the different shape. Um, and the feel of it is like a silicon plastic feel. It feels quite nice in the hand. Nice area to rest your thumb on the side um, with the extra buttons as well. So going over the mouse, um, you've got two buttons here. We've got the Obviously the left and right click, mouse wheel with a click, I believe that is the um, button to change the DPI on it. Uh, no more buttons on this side, nothing else. Uh, it is optical, um, yeah it's quite nice, it's not particularly weighty, if anything my old mouse was a little bit heavier, um, but uh, it does fit nice in the hand, like I say the thumb area is pretty nice and it's grippy as well. These uh, here are little indentations, it's nice and grippy. So that's the mouse. Onto the keyboard then. Let's get the old one out of the way. So just to mention these are both USB. Um, I've made sure that I ordered a UK layout, which is one thing you do need to make sure of, is that you order a keyboard in the layout for your country. Um, because I know, especially even on Amazon.co.uk, um, there's a lot of US um, layout keyboards, which I know isn't the end of the world, but you won't get the pound sign um, on Shift 3. It's actually the hash, hashtag, or the, the number, if you'll focus on that. Um, yeah, the number key is uh, up there on a US layout. So the keyboard then, if we can focus please. There we go. Um, nice weighty keyboard. Um, the keys are nice and they are padded. Definitely padded. Um, again, if I bring a very, very basic standard keyboard in, you can see it pretty much is the same size. Um, but I mean, if I just tap two keys on the <coughs> new keyboard and then the old keyboard, it's a lot louder, a lot. There's a lot more movement in the keys, I mean, especially the space bar, I would have thought. I mean, I'm not pressing it, I'm just tapping it in the new one. It's a lot different. It is definitely padded. It feels really nice, actually. So, quick tour of the keyboard. Actually, all usual buttons. And then the lights for the num lock, caps lock, scroll lock, and win. Not sure exactly what that's going to be. Let's have a play with that. I only assume Windows, maybe if I press the Windows key it'll do that. Uh, underneath it, we've got two uh, feet, legs, what are you going to call them? I'll most likely have it like that, I think. Let's have a play, see what works best. Like I said, there is, in here, the uh, arm support, you want to call it? And that goes in, turn it upside down, excuse my feet. Uh, it goes into these little little holes each side. So let's slide that in there. One, two. 
so now just got more of a, an area to rest your hand as you're gaming because obviously especially on uh, first person shooters and the like you'll be using your QWERTY keys over here so your wrist will sit nicely well I'm saying that I've got quite long hands um, if I sit like that my hand isn't even on the uh, on the pad it sits over it so hey it looks nice it's uh, like a brushed look but it's plastic same on that side uh, as for literature what have we got we've got a, uh, a little guide explaining how it all works Blah blah blah. Uh, can't see anything about what that wind thing does. This obviously is an illuminated one as well, as I'm sure you know from searching for this. Um, which, from what I've heard, as such, uh, the keyboard you can choose between three different colours. It is on here. Um, and to do it, you just press function and five to switch the back click colour. Um, and that will change that. Um, whereas the mouse, it just goes through different colours. I don't think you can set a colour. Just notice as well, it just comes with a two year warranty card, which is nice for a relatively cheap um, product. It comes with a nice long two year warranty, which is great. But that's it. Um, let's have a quick look at this mouse pad that came with it. Didn't pre open this, might regret that. Let me just put the camera down a sec. There we go. So, nice and uh, plain, but that uh, premium feel to it. Just got Technic on it, uh, te Technic, Technet on it, and then uh, just a stitched area around the edges. Simple as that. So yeah, uh, as usual guys, any questions or uh, info that you need, just drop them in the uh, comment section below and feel free to subscribe and I shall catch you guys later.